129th contact. Wednesday, March 5, 1980, 3.05 am. Billy says you don't look very happy, girl. Semyaza says this should not sadden you. Billy says but may I at least know what's eating you? Semyaza says I'm just still always depressed by all the connections with regard to Vreni and her unfair business, about which I wouldn't like to speak, however, in this regard, we have, indeed, made the agreement that from our side, we will no longer get involved in your group concerns. Billy says and if I ask you to talk about it now in this case, nevertheless, Semyaza says that would present the things in a fundamentally different light, because you would then just seek information and explanations. Billy says then I hereby do that, my child, about which you will certainly be glad, because you, as I look at you, would like to unload the heavy burden from yourself, right? Semyaza says that corresponds to the truth, and I am very depressed about all these indelicate and improper happenings. Billy says then express yourself calmly. I'm all ears. Semyaza says I thank you. There has, indeed, never been such a great need for me to give some knowledge from myself, as it is the case today. Billy says then please don't let yourself still be asked about it for a long time. I just thought that you had told me everything the last time. But apparently, that wasn't the case. Semyaza says that's right. Billy says then at that time, you were so furious because of that. Semyaza says yes, but I just could not talk about it. But this has depressed me ever more since then, so I would be very happy now if I can still give you the remaining explanations of the investigations performed. Billy says you see, one just shouldn't let a goiter grow. Semyaza says I understand the meaning of your words very well, but consider that until now, I have never gotten into such a situation, where due to surges of emotion, I fell into rage and got tangled up inside myself. Billy says I also make no reproach to you from that, and moreover, you prove to me through your bad situation, in which you are now stuck, that even you are actually just a completely normal human being. But now, Let's hear what still depresses you so much. Semyaza says as always, you are very understanding. Well, what I hid from you the last time, and what has brought me into rage and emotional difficulties, is this not only has Vreni gotten involved in some very improper actions, but also her husband beat. With several people together, the two of them out of calculations and assumptions and so on that are purely based on delusions of the brain, have formed a misleading group of conspirators in evil confusion with several other persons, to whom supposedly thousands of years old relationships and certain forms of love should exist. Some of these persons are well known to you, whose names are not important here, however. But in truth, the matters are such that among all those involved in this doubt pervaded, false community from Vreni's and Beat's graces, which works against the interests of your group, they are only two people who have contacts with each other to exhibit from former lives as other personalities, so namely only Beat and Vreni. Or the others, however, see themselves for the first time in this life, just as also Vreni and Beat encounter all these people belonging to the conspirator community for the first time in this life. Never before have they met in former lives as other persons. Due to serious false calculations and false media mystic machinations of several parties involved, false emotions were aroused particularly in Vreni, which expanded into a false love which truly has no basis. But you will still be informed about it this week by beating writing, from which you can then see that my explanations and clarifications are based on truth. This group wrongly brought to life by Vreni and Beat, because they are the main initiators of it is also of the very dangerous and erroneous view that between Lilo's husband and you there is an inner rift, so to speak, which would have to be eliminated by Lilo's husband and you with the help of Beat, Vreni, Engelbert, Lilo and other persons. But truly no iota of this corresponds to the truth. Vreni has falsely fallen in love emotionally with Lilo's husband. 
Billy says he is named Albert, as I have learned in the meantime. Semyaza says that he's known to me, but I wouldn't like to express his name. So, Vreni has become emotionally attached to Lilo's husband in a false being in love in the mistaken belief that they would already know each other for thousands of years, which doesn't correspond to the truth, however, which I was able to clarify clearly and without any mistake. Even in the last life the two never saw each other, because Vreni had been born in Spain and never left the country and also did not become acquainted with Lilo's present husband there. Lilo's husband, on the other hand, lived in Germany at that time, where he was born under the name Florian Beck on the 14th of July, 1863 in Bavaria. Already early on, he was admitted to a reformatory in Brietania as a deceiver and shirker. After his release, he roamed about throughout his life in Germany and in Austria as a beggar and vagrant, whereby he became arrested and locked in the dungeon 63 times because of stealing, begging, and vagrancy. Two murders committed by him, two women, whom he raped and robbed after their murders, were imputed to him, for which he was not punished, however, for lack of sufficient evidence. Already at the age of 11 years, he suffered a leg injury which he had to bear throughout the days of his life, because already at this age, he tried to rob an elderly woman, who seriously injured him with a club, however. These are the actual facts surrounding Vreni and Lilo's husband, who still carries very many parts of his former life with himself now in this life, because he draws them off from the storage banks. But these are only two of all for also beat as well as Lillo and even further persons play a role in this new conspirator community. Billy says but what, then, do they want with that? Semiaza says I already explained that to you, but at the same time, I still have to add that Vreni and Beat have joined the core group only because of their aim. Billy says that too. Then it's probably better if they are excluded as soon as possible. Semiaza says that would be of importance, which would be the case anyway, when they would begin their journey to America, as I already explained to you at our last meeting. Billy says then what you said isn't valid, if they would remain here in Switzerland. Semiaza says it is, but this decision would rest with the group members. They would then have to decide whether the two could continue to remain and learn in the community of your group or whether they should be excluded. Billy says what, then, would you say as advice? Semiaza says exclusion. Billy says that is a clear answer and clear advice. Thanks. Do you have even more of these pieces of bad news? Semiaza says not in this connection, because what is yet to be explained concerning this, I would like to tell you in confidence. Only for Elsie would I still like to explain that in the future, it's better for her if she always turns to you in a spirit of mutual confidence with all her concerns of such kind, rather than be silent in a false understanding. Billy says by which she triggers a catastrophe, like now. Semiaza says certainly. Billy says you said that you have nothing more to say concerning this, but you apparently still have some bad news in another form. Semiaza says that's right, namely with regard to the meditation center's control, which did, indeed, reach its due date on the 1st of March. Billy says oh dear, I think I already know what's coming. Semiaza says then you are, indeed, not surprised the entire bearing of Madeline has not changed in relation to the meditation exercises because she continues to sleep in the center, without truly striving. Through this, she pollutes the center with her free-running vibrations, which is no longer tolerable. Her definite absence from the meditation room for a long time must be urgently decided by the core group members. Billy says and what about her storage? Semiaza says that is eliminated. Billy says and there's no going back for her. Semiaza says in one year at the earliest, if she has not done anything by the middle of this year to ensure that she must be excluded. If she should change, however, then she may make an attempt again in one year, which will then be final, however. Billy says and how about all the others? 
Semyaza says they range from good to passable, but we are content, even though illogical happenings and dubious efforts often arise with almost all group members. But we have learned to understand this through the illogical, fickle efforts of the group members. Billy says then is that everything? Semyaza says yes. Billy says good, that's also enough for me for today, although I actually still had another question regarding this Albert, I mean Lilo's husband. He has stated that you would maintain contact with him and that he also knows me in the best manner, etc. But for this, you did, indeed, already give detailed explanations in connection with HG the last time, so this is unnecessary. Then greet everyone nicely for me until we meet again. Semyaza says till we meet again, and very, very dear thanks for letting me rid myself of my worries and oppressions and distresses with you. I will still tell you the remaining things soon in another contact, which I will not then transmit to you, however. Billy says then you are better now. Semyaza says very much so. Quite dear thanks. Billy says nothing to thank me for, my child. It's just important that you now have your peace again. Semyaza says that is now so, yes. Billy says good, then I can take off again. Bye, and dear greetings to the others. See you. Semyaza says farewell, my friend. See you soon. The End <laughs>